if you're wondering how a 19 inch versus an 18 inch affects you and your riding, well, this is the video for you. In this video, let's try to look at the 19 versus 18 rear wheel rim for a trail bike in trail riding. And why is it important? Here we have two motorcycles, a YZ250F and a YZ250FX. They are very, very close as far as the components inside, but they have a major difference. And one of them is the rear wheel. One is an 18 inch and one is a 19 inch. And a lot of people are asking, well, what's the difference? What's the point? Why is a 19 better or an 18 better than a 19? Well, the answer is very, very simple and complicated at the same time. Tire choice is important when you choose your rim because on 19 inch tire rims, you are limited on the tire types that you could put on. There are less models available. So usually you are very limited of a couple of motocross and some trail tires that you could put on. On an 18 inch though, because they're a lot more popular for trail riding, there's a lot more and a bigger selection of tires that you could choose from, which is a very, very important thing. Choice and freedom. The 19 inch is specifically designed for motocross. The tires are slimmer. How is a 19 inch differ from an 18 inch as far as the tire goes, putting aside the tire selection? Well, first of all, on a 19 inch, the tire installation is a little bit harder and is usually caused by the fact that the sidewall of a 19 inch tire is a half an inch not as wide as an 18 inch. Because the rim is larger and the tire size usually stays the same, the rim of the wall of the tire is actually smaller. If the tire wall is smaller, it's harder to install. How is it going to affect you and riding? When we are riding hard at high speed, you hit all kinds of bumps and all kinds of things in the road. These things do a big impression on the tire uh, based on your tire pressure or whatever you're using in your tire. At the lower speed, as you can see in this video, they have a less impact over the tire compared to at a higher speed. If you multiply the speed by four times, then the impact is going to be multiplied four times. A 18 inch rim will allow you to install a fatter tire. A fatter tire is going to have a wider or larger sidewall and therefore you are going to be less prone to a pinch flat or destroying your rim. The 19 inch rims do have their advantages. In motocross, they are used because they have less flex on the wall. Because those tracks are groomed and they are not using any rocks or any obstacles as in hard enduro, uh, they could count on the fact they're not gonna get any pinch flats and therefore they rather have a less pronounced sidewall for better traction and for better uh, handling. But on an 18 inch rim, the situation changes because these are performance bikes used in hard enduro competitions and here you cannot control where you are riding. Because of that, the fatter sidewall works a lot better to prevent pinch flats even at lower uh, PSI or even if you have a moose, uh, it's a little bit harder to crack a rim. I hope this video helped you guys to understand the main differences between an 18 inch rim and a 19 inch rim. A lot of my subscribers have requested this as a video to be made and I have put my best into it. Here is some riding that I've taken in Moab on my 18 inch rear rim and all these hard obstacles where I was a lot more confident that if I hit them hard I'm not going to get a pinch flat. Thank you very much for watching. There are definitely some fast sections and then some rocky sections and then fast sections again. And here's the end. So this is the end of the Porcupine Rim Trail. You know, so... Uh, this is as far as you could go. And I...
I guess I'm here. Hmm. Well, good to know. Good to know. <laughs>